Please stand for a moment of silence and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Parkland, and Happy New Year. Today is Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. It is a day three in a B schedule. I'm Sean Nekic. Welcome back to PMN. I'm Vito Rosado. There are 387 yearbooks left. Last year, we sold out. The price is $82 and personalization can be purchased online. In club news, March for Our Lives will have a meeting Monday, January 6th after school in room C200. We will be going over national updates, making posters, and signing up for voter registrations. Now over to Nathaniel with sports. Thanks, Sean. In sports news today, both boys and girls basketball will take on Pocono Mountain West. Boys home at 7 and girls away at 7. Swimming will take on William Allen High School home at 4. Good luck to all of our athletes in action today. For sports, I'm Nathaniel Armstrong. I'm Vito Rosado. Make sure to follow our YouTube and Twitter at Parkland TV Film and check out our website for updates and broadcasts. And I'm Sean Neckage. Stay tuned for the 2020-2021 Year School Course Registration Preview from the Guidance Office. We will guide you through the process of choosing the course and what the and what is just right for you to prepare for, the future. We'll see you next time on PMN. Good morning and Happy New Year to everyone. I am Ms. Wachowski, one of the counselors here at the high school. This morning we are presenting course registration information for the 2020-2021 school year. There is a lot of information you will need to know and understand, so please listen closely. Everyone should have received the course study guidebook from your homeroom teacher this morning. Pay particular attention to page 95, online course requests, directions for students, because for the first time ever, Parkland High School will be implementing an online course registration process. Yes, you heard me correctly. No more course registration sheets. Online registration. On pages 96 to 99 of the course book, there is a list of course codes and titles. You will use these codes to enter your course requests. Teachers will be making their recommendations from now until January 10th. Students will enter their course requests from January 13th to the 17th. More information regarding the online registration process will be forthcoming. Starting today, your teachers will explain course offerings within their departments. Parents and guardians are welcome to attend the course registration program in the high school auditorium at 7 p.m. tonight. Parent questions about the 2020-2021 course selection process can be answered at that time. When selecting honors and advanced placement courses, please remember that for some, a summer assignment is required. Summer assignments are graded in September and the score will be included in your first marking period grade. Now, let's talk about dual enrollment options, which can be found on pages 11 through 14 of the course guidebook. Many opportunities exist for students to acquire college credits while still in high school. Dual enrollment courses are offered by Parkland High School faculty and Lehigh Carbon Community College in the visual arts, world languages, mathematics, business and information technology, and Project Lead the Way programs. Dual enrollment courses allow you to earn college credit and meet high school graduation requirements. 
ask your teachers about enrollment and course fees. Other opportunities for dual enrollment include waiving your senior year to attend college full-time or a blended program where you are enrolled part-time in college while continuing to take graduation requirements at Parkland High School. Lehigh Carbon Community College continues to offer juniors and seniors the opportunity to attend college full-time as part of a dual enrollment program where you can earn an Associate of Arts degree in General Studies. All dual enrollment programs require administrative approval. One other dual enrollment opportunity offered through Penn State University, Lehigh Valley Campus, and LTRI-C is the Emerging Health Professions Program. Only seniors are eligible to participate in this highly competitive program. Applications can be found on the LCTI website. Summer enrichment information can be found on page 16 of the course guidebook. Students may take additional courses during the summer for advancement or additional study at a two or four year accredited college university through an online program or through enrichment courses offered at Parkland High School. Interested students must pick up a summer enrichment packet from Mrs. Benick in the main office. Packets will be available mid-February. Any student who is looking to complete coursework during the summer must submit the summer courses for enrichment request found in the packet to Mrs. Bennett. Please remember that all summer enrichment study requires administrative approval. Students can choose a traditional academic path at Parkland High School or a technical academic path through Lehigh Career and Technical Institute. Sample schedules can be found on pages six and seven of the course guidebook. All students need to select a minimum of 6.25 credits except for sophomores who are required to carry 6.5 credits because of the driver's education theory class. Diversified Career Occupations, or DCO, is also available for seniors who are looking for a work-based experience program for school credit. This program is supervised through LCTI and is different from the typical co-op experience. See your counselor for more details about this unique offering. I will now turn it over to Mrs. Tabarani. Let's talk about graduation requirements. This information can be found on pages 9 and 10 of your course guidebook. 24.25 credits are required for graduation. This includes four credits of English, four credits of social studies, three credits of math and science, one credit of health and PE, and 8.5 credits of electives. On pages 9 and 10, you will also find the courses that meet the one credit of technology requirement. Remember, three credits of Arts and Humanities are also required. World language courses typically fulfill this requirement. Remember to choose your electives and alternates carefully. You may be scheduled for these classes next year. Upperclassmen should strongly consider enrolling in the third and fourth year of a world language, as well as a fourth year of math and science. Selective colleges will look favorably upon a student who continues with a strong academic schedule. Most importantly, take some time during the next few weeks to discuss your course selections with your parents or guardians. Juniors, please listen closely to the following information regarding college admissions testing. Parkland High School is scheduled to administer the SAT in March, May, and June of this school year. We encourage juniors to register now or you may not be able to test here at Parkland High School. Please go online to register at www.sat.org Slash register. When completing your SAT registration, you can send your score report to four colleges for no additional fee. By not filling out the score report, you will spend additional money to have your score sent to schools at a later time. If you have a general idea of which colleges interest you, fill in the college codes on the registration form. You may choose to take the SAT more than once. Some selective colleges may also require you to take the one-hour SAT subject test. If a college requires a specific subject test in a course you are currently taking, it may be to your advantage to take the test this spring. Go online to determine if you need to take the SAT subject tests. Early admission or early decision applicants need to have their testing done by the fall of their senior year. An alternate to the SAT is the ACT or American College Test. The ACT is accepted at all colleges and universities. To find out more information about this college admissions test, please go online to www.actstudent.org. 
The ASVAB, or the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, will be given at Parkland High School in April by the four branches of the Armed Services. Please watch the announcements for more details regarding ASVAB sign up. The ASVAB is an excellent way to test your aptitude for different career fields. This is a good test to take whether or not you plan to enter the military. Advanced placement tests will be given at PHS in May. Students in AP classes have already received registration information. In March, the counselors will come into the English classes to provide information on the college application process. Topics will include parchment, common application, coalition application, SENDEDU, along with college admissions procedures and research methods. A lot of information was given to you today. Take some time to look over the course registration materials, discuss your selections with your teachers, and remember that all students will meet with their counselor during the month of February to review their selections and graduation requirements.